OK, so in this video, a particle of mass 8 kilos situated on a horizontal surface is connected to a hanging particle of mass 6 kilos by a string that passes over a smooth peg. Find the acceleration of the system and the tension in the string when the surface is smooth and when the surface is rough with mu equals 0.4. OK, so here is the horizontal surface. Here is the block uh, with mass of 8 kilos. So weight of 8G, we're going to have a normal reaction force, R. OK, and that is connected by a string over a smooth peg to a second particle. This one has mass of 6 kilos, so it's got a weight of 6G. There will be tension in the string, T. OK, so this is the situation that we have. We first of all need to find the acceleration and the tension in the string when the surface is smooth. So if the surface is smooth, then the blocks will be accelerating to the right. OK, and this, accelerate, and this particle accelerating downwards. That would be the direction of motion, of any possible motion. So let's see what happens then. OK, so... If I resolve, so let's call this particle A and that particle B, I'm going to resolve particle A, taking to the right as positive. So I've got the tension working towards the right. Okay, There's no frictional forces working against that. And that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. Okay, So tension has got to be 8 times A. Now, if I resolve particle B going downwards, then I've got the weight working downwards, 6G. I've got the tension working against it. And that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. So if I add these two equations together, the tension will cancel. I'll be left with 6G is equal to 14A. So, the acceleration is 6, if I take g as 9.8, 6 lots of 9.8 divided by 14, and I get 4.2 metres per second per second. Okay, so that's our acceleration. Consequently, the tension is 8 lots of 4.2, so that gets me 33 0.6 newtons, okay, which is 34 newtons to 2 sig fig. Okay, so seeing as we've rounded gravity to 2 sig fig, it's appropriate to round tension to 2 sig fig as well. Okay, so that is part A. Now, part B. Now the surface is rough with mu equal to 0.4, okay? So, remember that friction is equal to mu times r, okay? Now, r, so that's the first thing we need to deal with. If we resolve, well, if we resolve A vertically, then we've got r pointing directly upwards, 8g working downwards, and that's got to be equal to mass times acceleration. But the particle A is not accelerating vertically, and so it's just a zero. So R is actually just equal to 8 lots of 9.8, which is 78.4. 78.4 newtons. So because um, the particle is moving, we have this F equals mu times R here. So that means that the frictional force is equal to mu, 0.4, times the 78.4. So that gets us 31.36 newtons. So 31.36 newtons working against us. So, in that case then, when I resolve A horizontally, this time, I've got the tension 
But then I've got the 31.36 working against us. And that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. And if I resolve B vertically, going downwards, we get the same equation that we had before. 6G minus T is equal to 6A. So now if I add these two equations together, 1 and 2, the T's cancel again. We've got 6G, take 31.36, is equal to 14A. So 6 lots of 9.8 take away 31.36, gets us 27.44. Divide that by the 14, and we get 1.96 meters per second per second. So given that, we can then substitute in to one of these two equations. If I substitute into number one, okay, so if I substitute into equation number one, we've got eight lots of the 1.96, and then add on the 31.36, and we get 47.04 newtons. OK, so uh, to two sig fig, this would be 2.0 metres per second to two sig fig, the acceleration, and 47 newtons for the tension. OK, so as you can see, you can compare what the uh, frictional force, friction force element has done to it, reducing the acceleration down, but increasing the tension in the string.